We base that ranking off of increase or decrease in services rendered by Orkin, I guess. So um, that's where that comes from. Okay. Um, and I guess what are you seeing in Dubuque in terms of um, bed bug infestations treatments? Uh, in any idea why it seems to be on the rise? I, it's on the rise just because people are getting more aware um, and they travel more. Um, they don't come from across the street to your house. Yeah. So what are the most common ways you're seeing that uh, bed bugs are getting into homes and businesses? By uh, picking up furniture at maybe flea markets or on the side of the road or rummage sales that may or may not have bed bugs in them, furniture or articles of some sort. Also when we travel, uh, we may set our suitcase down in a hotel room that has bed bugs and it's possible a bed bug can get in that suitcase and then we take that home and now we have a bed bug at home and they multiply quickly. Yeah, it seems to be kind of a, a growing problem or concern across the country. Any idea what, what some of the factors are leading to that? I mean, is it, it has to do with some um, uh, resistance to like common insecticides or pesticides? Um, there's some talk about that. I'm not sure that's the major thing. I think it's just the more travel and people get around more. Okay. And, um, just don't aren't careful enough. Okay, um, and so uh, how how does one go about you know looking for trying to detect bug buds if they suspect they might have them? What should they do? Well, the bugs are going to most likely be close to the places we sleep because they don't like to travel a lot. They're within ten feet, maybe less, five to ten feet of our bed, um, and. You can see them, they're the size of an apple seed, same color too, generally. They're flat, they're not as thick as an apple seed, but they're about the same size. Okay. So you can see them. All right. Um, and if you do have bed bugs, uh, I guess, what should you do? Uh, what are your options in terms of treatment? I would call a pest management professional because they're hard, they're hard to take care of. And why is that? They just hide in all kinds of nooks and crannies, and you got to get in every nook and cranny to make sure you get rid of them. Okay. Um, and so what are some things people can do to, to get rid of them or to maybe minimize their exposure? Well, uh, again, stay away from roadside furniture. Mm -hmm. uh, be careful what you buy at a rummage sale or a flea market look at it real close um, you'll see bed bugs if they're on it okay maybe I mean, we're, we're professionals so we know where to look and how to look yeah if you look at every every square inch of the piece you buy and you don't see any signs of them then you're probably good I, I don't ever buy anything other than new anymore okay um, and then so if, if you do have bed bugs what should you do with your bedding clothing furniture you should launder everything. Uh, furniture, you should have a pest management professional come in and advise you. Sometimes furniture is too infested to deal with, sometimes not. So you should have someone that does this for a living okay. advise you. And in terms of uh, cleaning, washing, clothing, bedding, any particular way you should do that? Well. When, before we do a treatment, we advise all clothing and bedding be washed and dried. Uh, 122 degrees for one second will kill a bed bug Fahrenheit, um, but you got to get it to that temperature. You could fill a dryer with sheets and blankets, and there's some areas in that dryer that may not get that hot because of the insulation that you provided. But if you pack it too tight, everything's got to be able to move loosely. And got to get hot enough. And then you keep that away from where the bed bugs were until it treated. After it's treated, then you can go back to normal life. Okay. What do your treatments consist of? Is it chemical application, heat? Yes. Um, and it depends on the, it depends, every job is different. So 
I couldn't tell you today somebody's got bed bugs down the road what we're going to do until we look at it we, we do an inspection first we'll charge for the inspection and then we'll bid on what the appropriate treatment is required 